Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome to my next game. As you can see, we are on the startup boot up screen for my PlayStation 2. And I'm gonna go ahead and close the tray. And I mean obviously if the title didn't the title of the video didn't give it away already, we're going to be playing another Mega Man game. I just simply just refuse to say it for whatever reason, but I also got myself a new microphone. I'm using it right now. It's li it's it's a really good mic. It's only like I think it's like four feet away from me, and it can pick me up, pick my voice up like this. So it's really it's a really good microphone. Uh oh yeah. Got to turn the TV down. Want to do that? That way my mic doesn't just pick up everything that that's there. And I also got to make sure that my the volume of my computer is turned down a bit. Okay, there we go. A game by Capcom. Now, cue intro. I love that intro. So yes, everybody, we are going to be playing Mega Man X7. Now, before you guys start, and for any of you people who do comment, uh, before y'all start spouting like a bunch of hate things about me as to why I chose this one, just hear me out. I don't care what X Play said or whatever back in 2000 or whatever. But anyway, um, now I look. I I am a Mega Man fan. From my videos, you guys probably know that. But one thing I might as well tell you right now. Oh. I agree with everybody else that Mega Man X7 is a horrible game. I can agree with that. However, I still love playing this game. I enjoy playing it. I like pretty much everything about it. But I will agree that it is probably the worst Mega Man X game there is. But I still love it. Despite the fact of all the stuff I say about it, I still love it. Now, okay, since that's out of the way, I already have a save file ready for us to start playing on. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's do it. And just to tell you guys, I am on hard mode. So, you're gonna see the most that this game has to offer. This is it. Ready to rock? I'm always ready. What, what the? You wait. Safe here. 
Somebody must have leaked the information. Huh? Who's there? It's me, of course. It was the perfect plan. How did they find out? Sharp on. What the? You were the traitor! No. I took care of him a second ago. W what happened? How did you do that? Sometime in the 22nd century. Thanks to the red points, even the most devastated regions were set back on the road to recovery. But crimes perpetrated by mavericks were on the rise. The Maverick Hunters was the official organization that responded to incidents involving mavericks. One of the veteran members, X, began having second thoughts about the group's forceful methods. He removed himself from the front lines and instead worked to achieve more peaceful solutions. Why must Reploids fight one another? I've had enough violence. With the Maverick Hunters crippled by X's retirement, an underground organization filled the vacuum. And thus, Red Alert, the illegal band of bounty hunters who pursued Mavericks, was born. Soon, there was not a single Reploid that had not heard of Red Alert and their charismatic leader, Red. One day, a young Reploid and key member of Red Alert made the decision to leave the group. This decision would change destiny itself. Goodbye, Red. I'll become a hunter on my own. And thus, a new battle began. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really happy that I'm not the one that has to read that. Which you guys know from my videos that me reading stuff that it says with no voice, audio, or anything. I bet some of you get annoyed by that. But here right. we go. Looks like we're playing as this new character. So yeah, everybody, welcome to Mega Man X7. It is a... It's a 3D base, a 3D slash 2D base Mega Man X game. Now most of you guys would have expected me to do Mega Man X uh, first, but the thing is, uh, well, the thing is, I I don't know how to get my Mega Man X collection to work with my Roxio. So there's that. And plus, I feel like recording a different type of Mega Man game, such as this one, which is the X series, because, ah. Uh, I don't know, it can get a little tiring doing the classic series over and over again, so I decided to change things up. Now I haven't... okay. As you see here, we're introduced to the 3D mode. Some stages have a mix between 2D and 3D areas and such. And also, if you notice, that you can lock on it, that enemies get locked onto automatically. Now I bet some of you are probably wondering right now, why did I choose to load a save file instead of just starting a new game? The reason why is because because uh, I wanted to have X I wanted to have X unlocked uh, as soon as we get to the boss select screen. So there's that. Because of the way there's a there's a way I want to do this. I basically want to play through the entire game three times with each character. But as the videos upload, you guys will see what I'm trying to do here. You can press the R2 button to switch between targets. Ugh, and we're out of here.
please tell me I am through with the worst of it. And another thing I forgot to mention is that when I had to beat this game the first time, just so X would be playable from the beginning, I basically beat the entire game without ever without upgrading. And let me tell you, Ready? this game on hard mode without upgrading is freaking ridiculous. But anyway, we're now on the second part of the intro stage where we're playing as Zero. So that's nice. Zero attacks with his Z, with his Z saber, if anybody doesn't know, and he can also reflect shots back as well. A little nifty. He can also double jump as well and air dash. The only downside is with him being a close range character, and most enemies can screw you up if you get too close to him. But Zero makes up for it in power. His uh, attacks can get really, really strong. I usually just like to stand underneath this giant uh, bee blader and just swing away. I know this may seem cheap, but I mean, that's just how I do. And now here we're going to have some... I forgot what these things are called. Ah, but anyway. Basically, when they start spawning, you just kind of want to stand under them and just, like, kind of keep attacking. Because whenever they take steps, then their steps can actually hit you and hurt you. But if you stand underneath them, then they can't touch you. Because, I mean, realistically speaking, that would make sense. Got another beep later here. Not big, not that much of a problem. Alrighty. Recording's looking good, so that's keeping that's making me happy. Alright, now we just switch to a 3D perspective. I hate those bees. Birds and the bees. Where's the faggotry Dr. Seuss in the Eh, whatever. Screw you, bees. And here's our last bee blader. I like to stay up in his face. It makes it more fun. And there we go. Oh, screw you. No bees. No bees. Alright. We're just about done here. Just gonna like, climb up this crushing thing. And cutscene. Out of the way! Out of the way! Huh? Wait a second. Are you stupid? You're in danger if you just stand there. Get a move on. Are you connected to this incident? Incident? What are you talking about? Oh, here it comes. So I'll be seeing ya. What's going on? That's a big on? maverick. Oh, ouch. Come on, Zero, stay with me. Here. Yeah, sorry guys, I don't know this thing's name. I don't know what it's called. One interesting thing though is that you can deflect the shots back, but it does absolutely nothing. You've got some explaining to do. Okay, I'll tell you everything, but later. Right now I have to take care of that freak. And here he is. 
You're Zero, so you can handle this, right? I'm Axel. Call me if you need a hand. This has become a real pain. I want a full explanation when this is Alright, time to fight our first boss of Mega Man X7. If you press the L2 button, you can switch uh, you can switch between uh, Zero and Axel. Also, another thing that was at the beginning that I forgot to mention is that um, if you press the R2 button while facing multiple lock-on targets, you can switch targets. The first thing you want to do fighting this thing is you want to take its tail out. Ow. But every time you face it, it's going to lock back onto the head first. So you got to kind of switch your things to switch the tail. And there goes the tail. Now he's got to take its claw out. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And there we go. Now it's just this guy. And also, another thing about Axel that's interesting is that if you press the dash button a second time while dashing, he will roll. And during this roll, he's invincible. Of course, you can normally just duck to avoid this guy, so there's that. Zero also deals damage to this thing. Like, some real major damage. Oh, miss. And there we go. Now for a long series of cutscenes. Oh, and also... Oh wait, never mind. I'll tell you guys later. I'm not gonna run off. So could you take this thing off? It makes me feel like a criminal. Feel like a criminal? Uh, okay. Maybe what I did was wrong, but like, we were a perfect team, don't you think? When we kicked that big dude's butt, I thought, yeah, we would make a great combo. So, where's X been lately? I haven't seen him around. Sit tight. He's just beyond this door. Nice work, Zero. So, you're the one who caused all this trouble. I guess so. I had no idea they'd send that kind of gear after us. Here? Who's after you? I left, Red. Believe it or not, I'm a hunter. Red Alert, you mean that gang of wannabe vigilantes? Do you realize how much damage your internal bickering has caused? I apologize for that, but I had to leave. That's what happened as a result. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes? Do you have any idea? X cool. All right, X. Why don't you start by telling us why you left? Red Alert changed. They're no better than murderers now. They used me. We used to only attack the bad guys. Not anymore. I couldn't take it. They're going to come for Axel, no doubt. This is our chance. Red Alert is positive. Far too much trouble. How can you say that? If we fight, we'll fall right into their hands. We can't allow this madness to continue. I know what you mean, X. But we can't talk them out of this. Sometimes fighting is the only choice. That's quite enough. You need to back off and pay the dues for your crimes. What happened? Unidentified transmission. Feeding to monitor. You get it?
getting this, Hunters? I'm Red, leader of your friends here at Red Alert. I never imagined our little friend would end up in your hands. But in any case, I want Axel back. Now, don't you worry. I know he won't come back easy. So how about this? Like you, we're Hunters. We've trashed our share of Mavericks. So how about a duel? A duel to determine who the real Maverick Hunters are. I'm sure you won't mind if we use the Mavericks that we have so far. So the last one standing wins. If we lose, we'll surrender access to you. And if we win, got to be kidding! Axel has nothing to do with us! We won't fight the likes of you for his sake! Well, pretty big talker for a retiree. We could care less about Debbie Flight. We just want Axel. He is there, isn't he? Now you just sit tight. <laughs> Already on the moon. Mavericks are showing up across the map. I'll check the damage. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Well, this is turning into a real mess. X, you said I need to pay my dues, right? So make me a Maverick Hunter. Me and Zero make a great team, and together we could take care of Red Alert. Are you mad? You have no business as a hunter. I'm serious. It would be a perfect chance to make up for my wrongdoing. If you had just gone back, the problem would have been solved. But I can see that won't be happening. Right. These aren't run-of-the-mill criminals. They won't listen to reason. And even if Axel did go back, which he won't, would they stop their misdeeds? I don't think so. Zero, you're my hero! Hey, I knew you'd understand! I always thought you and X were so cool! I want to fight! I want to be a Maverick Hunter! Not just anybody can become a hunter, kid. We're not getting anywhere with this. I'm ready to go. No, wait! I'm going by myself. As for you, you can do what you please. Yeah! X, if I catch all the bounty hunters, you've got to promise me you'll let me be a Maverick Hunter! Talk is cheap. Prove it to me first. And don't forget this. Okay, I won't let you down! Another pointless conflict has begun. X, don't overthink this. This time our only choice is to We've made this mistake time and time again. Why must Reploids continue this accursed cycle of aggression? Well, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And we're gonna go and check out the character select, or the, not the character select, the Maverick select screen, or the boss select screen. Man, I really know a lot of screens. Okay. So that's done. And I just gotta get back to the stage select screen in case something happens. And hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. Alright. What I was trying to say, what I was trying to say earlier is that this is not going to be like a 100% rescue Reploids because this is just going to be a normal playthrough of the game, but I'm going to be playing through it with each character. But, um, yeah, I mean, try not to expect me to get all the Reploids. I mean, I'll try my best to, but there's no guarantees considering that some of the Reploids are put in like really cheap places. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the stage select. I just used the fourth term for it. Anyway. Alright then. Here are eight stages. We have Deep Forest, Air Forces, Cyberfield, 
Central Circuit, Lava Factory, Tunnel Base, Radio Tower, and Battleship. These are our stages that we have to do. Now, this is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video off here, but this is where it's gonna split. And by splitting, what do you guys mean? What do you, you guys probably wondering? Gamester, what do you mean by you're gonna split it? Well, let me ask you a question. Who do you want to see? Choose your character.